Here's a brief overview of the molecular and genetic changes that occur in a cell during aging. Telomere shortening. Telomeres are protective structures located at the ends of chromosomes, which shorten as cells divide. Over time, the telomeres become too short to protect the chromosomes, which can result in cellular damage and aging. Increased oxidative stress. With age, the level of oxidative stress in cells increases, which can cause cellular damage and contribute to aging. Decreased DNA repair capacity. Over time, cells become less effective at repairing DNA damage, which can contribute to aging and the development of age-related diseases. Altered gene expression. As cells age, the expression of certain genes changes, which can impact cellular function and contribute to aging. Accumulation of cellular damage. Over time, cells accumulate damage from exposure to oxidative stress, radiation, and other factors, which can contribute to aging and the development of age-related diseases. These molecular and genetic changes are just a few examples of the changes that occur in cells during aging. Understanding these changes is crucial for developing new treatments and interventions aimed at promoting healthy aging and improving the quality of life for older adults. Telomere shortening. Telomeres are repetitive DNA sequences located at the ends of chromosomes, which play a critical role in cellular aging. As cells divide, the telomeres become shorter, which eventually limits the number of times a cell can divide. When the telomeres become too short, the cell can no longer divide and can enter a state of senescence or programmed cell death. Studies have shown that telomere length is a strong predictor of cellular aging and is associated with age-related diseases, such as cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, and cancer. There are several factors that can influence telomere length, including genetic predisposition, lifestyle factors, such as diet and exercise, and environmental exposures, such as stress and oxidative stress. There is also evidence to suggest that interventions, such as exercise and a healthy diet, can slow the rate of telomere shortening and promote healthy aging. Additionally, some research suggests that certain medications, such as statins and aspirin, may also slow telomere shortening. In conclusion, telomere shortening is a critical process in cellular aging and is associated with age-related diseases. Further research is needed to fully understand the mechanisms underlying telomere shortening and to develop interventions aimed at promoting healthy aging and improving the quality of life for older adults. Mechanisms of telomere shortening Telomere shorten as a result of the end replication problem, which occurs when the DNA replication machinery cannot fully replicate the end of the chromosome, resulting in the loss of telomere sequences. In addition, oxidative stress and inflammation can also contribute to telomere shortening. Role of telomerase Telomerase is an enzyme that adds telomere sequences to the ends of chromosomes and can counteract telomere shortening. However, telomerase activity decreases with age, which contributes to the rate of telomere shortening. Chromosomal instability When telomeres become too short, they can trigger chromosomal instability, leading to cellular damage and aging. Additionally, telomere shortening can result in genomic instability and increase the risk of developing age-related diseases. Genetic factors There is evidence to suggest that genetic factors, such as certain single nucleotide polymorphisms, SNPs, can influence telomere length and contribute to individual differences in the rate of telomere shortening. Telomere measurement Telomere length can be measured using a variety of techniques, including quantitative polymerase chain reaction, qPCR and fluorescence in situ hybridization, FISH. These techniques allow for the precise measurement of telomere length, which is critical for understanding the mechanisms underlying telomere shortening and for developing interventions aimed at promoting healthy aging. Cellular damage. Cellular damage and aging are complex processes that result from the interaction of various genetic, environmental, and lifestyle factors. One of the main mechanisms of cellular damage and aging is oxidative stress, which arises from an imbalance between the production of reactive oxygen species, ROS, and the ability of cells to remove them. ROS can cause significant damage to cellular components, including DNA, proteins, and lipids leading to cellular dysfunction and, eventually, cellular death. Inflammation, which can result from a variety of causes, including infection, injury, and metabolic stress, also contributes to cellular damage and aging by causing tissue damage and promoting the development of age-related diseases. The accumulation of senescent cells, 
which are cells that have ceased to divide and can contribute to tissue dysfunction and inflammation, is another factor that contributes to cellular damage and aging. Lifestyle factors, such as diet, physical activity, and exposure to environmental toxins, can also play a role in cellular damage and aging by increasing oxidative stress and inflammation. Reactive oxygen species, ROS, are highly reactive molecules that are produced as a byproduct of normal cellular metabolism, as well as in response to environmental stressors like radiation, toxins, and inflammation. The primary source of ROS production in cells is cellular respiration, which takes place in the mitochondria. During this process, electrons are transferred from molecular oxygen to form water, and some electrons are lost along the way, creating ROS. In addition to being produced during cellular metabolism, ROS can also be produced by enzymes involved in cellular signaling processes, and by the immune system in response to pathogens. Environmental stressors, such as radiation, toxins, and inflammation, can also increase ROS production. The accumulation of ROS over time can have significant impacts on aging and contribute to the development of age-related diseases. ROS can cause oxidative damage to cellular components, including DNA, proteins, and lipids, leading to cellular dysfunction and eventual cellular death. For example, ROS can cause oxidative damage to DNA, leading to mutations that can contribute to the development of cancer. ROS can also damage proteins, leading to alterations in their function and contributing to the decline of cellular function with age. ROS can also disrupt cellular signaling pathways, leading to alterations in gene expression and cellular behavior, resulting in the decline of cellular and tissue function and an increase in inflammation. In addition, ROS can activate cellular stress response pathways, such as the antioxidant response, which can protect cells from oxidative damage but also contribute to cellular stress and, eventually, cellular dysfunction and aging. In conclusion, the accumulation of ROS over time can contribute to cellular damage, the decline of cellular and tissue function, and the development of age-related diseases, making ROS an important factor in the aging process.